Hey everybody, Chris here. We are going to discuss a pulse test on the laser. And the reason that we typically do this is because we need to verify and check our alignment. Uh, just making sure that there are no crazy angles going on and we're losing the beam or the beam is moving so much that we might be clipping the cone. So this is really just a quick verification method by pulsing the machine in four corners. One of the things that you're going to need is uh, some type of tape. So whether it's masking tape, painter's tape, um, I recommend double, tripling, quadrupling it up a little bit so that it absorbs rather than burns. Um, we are putting this piece of tape over mirror three. So right here. And I recommend kind of pushing in on the opening so that you have a clear defining circle of where we're trying to hit. Uh, we can see here my, my red dot is kind of off to the right a little bit, so I expect my pulse to be off, uh, or my, I expect my pulse to be more centered than the red dot. Red dot is a separate adjustment, but we use that to help guide our mirror movements when we're doing alignment. So one of the things that I recommend when we're doing this pulse test is setting our power. So if we go into menu and we go down to max power, hit enter, you can see here that we have a 20.9% power. So let's say that I wanted a little extra power just so I can see, maybe I turn it to 30. Um, you know, 20 to 30% power is usually pretty good. Um, we hit enter and that confirms our setting and then escape to bring us back to the main menu so that we can hit the pulse button. Another thing that I like to do when I'm doing a pulse test is bypass the door sensors so that I can have this open and in case the tape does catch on fire, I can quickly blow it out. Um, and it also makes it fast for quick movements and confirming rather than constantly lifting the door. So we would have to come over to our door board, which is this board here, and we hit this little button right here. Once we have our red lights, that means the door sensors are bypassed temporarily. Uh, a key cycle, turning it on and off, will put that back into normal safety mode. Um, on the 24, it's on the side over here on the left, and on the other machines, it will be on your right side. All right, so I'm going to mount my camera real quick. So the idea here is to pulse in all four corners. So if I move this over to this corner, I'm going to do a quick pulse. And I have a perfectly centered beam. Now I'm going to move over to the left. And I'm going to hit pulse again. Okay, bring it back to the center and double check. I have one dot in the middle, which is perfect. Now, if I had a dot over here on the side or up top, then I know I would have a problem. Let's go to the back now and double check back there. Okay, I can actually see the little flame and it's in the same exact spot where the other pulses are. And I'll go over here and do the same thing. All right, so let's bring it back forward. And this is what we would be looking for from you if we're asking for a pulse test or for you just to verify. Uh, this is great to do even upon arrival uh, and, and unboxing. It's a good idea to verify. No need to go in and adjust any of the mirrors. Um, we're looking for verification that during transpor uh, transportation, uh, it wasn't bounced around and, you know, the driver didn't take speed bumps at 50 miles an hour and, you know, vibrate the mirrors loose. So this is literally a verification method um, just to do a quick pulse test and check out and make sure things are aligned correctly. If they are not, then we move forward to an actual alignment. Thanks for watching.